Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. A little bit windy right now, but that's gonna drop to nothing here in a few hours. Uh, a little bit overcast as well, plus we're on a kind of a, a rising tide with a late descending tide that doesn't ever really get low tide. So not the best for flats fishing, but it is good for a round two of juvenile tarpon fishing. I really want to get that down pat. Um, got a few things I'm going to try. One, well, the normal things. I got the seven weight fly rod. I've got the two esky light rods, but today I also brought the pinfish rod. And I'm thinking I might uh, go to that if I'm having problems with the first two, because the key part of it is, is that I need to be able to come here, whack a tarpon, and then get on to my grand slam chasing with the bonefish and permit, especially when I still need to catch blue crabs. So. That's where the pinfish might come in handy, where I can stop, pick up a couple pinfish, lob those in with a knocker rig, and uh, you can't beat live bait because live bait matters. So anyways, we're gonna test that out today and that's the plan. So this is the rig that I'm throwing there. This is the uh, three, out, three aught, one eighth ounce jig head, uh, allaboutthebait.com. And then with the two and five eighths inch uh, paddle tail. Uh, the reason why all these tarpon are here is because there's big schools of glass minnows and small pilchards all around here, and that's about as close as you can get. The uh, also uh, provide a better presentation when I'm flicking it underneath the mangroves. The four, eight, four inch ones just cause too much of a splash, so these I could just basically just skip in there, not a lot of commotion, even throw it on top of their head, and then just bring it back like a wounded uh, pilchard there. And there's a couple more in there. Oh, right on them. Oh, oh, there they come. Spooked off. Oh, shoot. That send them running. Ah, they were looking at it. Right now, it's, I, I think they're just very wary because of the water levels. They're not feeding. I'm not hearing any popping going on like yesterday. Then we just got to wait for the water to get a bit higher. I don't want to spook them too much where they're all wary. See underneath me, there, these are all pilchards. Small ones, but... I've got my cast net, but they're just kind of small. But that's what these uh, tarpon are eating, so... Just hard to make a presentation with those little things. All right, I've got the uh, pinfish rod out. The problem is, is there's thousands of mangrove snappers and the little kudas, they get so aggressive. I'm trying to just spot catch. See, they got swarm it. Oh, no, not you guys, you're all mangroves. I want the pinfish. There we go. That's the ones. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take four of them. And then we're going to go back to the uh, tarpon spot. I'm going to do a knocker rig, cut off the fins so it just struggles there and just pin it by where I've seen them. All right, we're all sit, set up. A lot of glass minnows and stuff in there getting chased by the kudas and the, and the uh, needlefish. But uh, saw one earlier when I just came in, but it went back in there. I'm gonna throw this a couple times and then uh, get the pinfish ready. Oh, there's these three right here. Didn't even see them. Oh. There they go. God, I didn't even see them coming around. They just came straight up through here. They're out roaming. All right, got them. Doesn't even know, now he knows he's hooked. There we go. There we go, stay out there. Yay! Oh, which way 
you going? Nice. Yeah, three of them came across. He was the last one. Just whacked it. No, not going into the mangroves. Get above there. Yep, going on that stick. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. There he goes. Uh, I think I've got him uh, gill hooked. He swallowed it. He's bleeding. So we got to release him quick. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's one way to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right then. You may leave now. All right. Cool beans. Well, that's what's working. This is the uh, three aught eighth ounce with the uh, two and five eighth inch. Uh, this is the gold flake paddle tail, but man, I'm gonna have to raise the prices on these guys. This whole bottom is just filled with uh, glass minnows and pilchards. Medium sized pilchards are getting a little bigger, but that's kind of uh, why uh, everything is around here. Call that bait. Yeah, definitely some pilchards in there. There's some decent sized ones in the bottom. If I was uh, finding uh, pilchards laying up, there we go. Oh, ah, those are mangroves. You pulled the tail. No, oh, stayed on. If there was uh, more tarpon uh, laying up, I'd throw the cast net on them and chum with them. That might be another uh, option for another trip. There we go. Good cast, good fish. And it's all packed full of pilchards. Just don't lose my jig. Uh, be another eater. Oh, quick release. All right, I'm not seeing very much activity. It was just those two packs that came through and I hooked up that on one on the second pack. I don't see anything really uh, coming by here. So I'm gonna give this a break, let them kind of chill out, uh, wait for that tide to still build up. And I'm gonna run to the channel where I was seeing those uh, other tarpon and uh, see if some of those are there. And then we'll take a look at the flats around that area as well, even though it's still a bit breezy. But then I'll waste some time and then I'll come back. All right, we're in our tarpon spot number two and it's filled full of kudas. So this is probably not gonna go well throwing a uh, pinfish under a bobber, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. When I ran over this spot, there was about five uh, adult tarpon just hanging around. I don't know if I scared them off, but I consistently find them in this area, so uh, definitely will be our plan B spot. I should whack a couple of these uh, big kudos to get them out of here, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, here's the rig, got the bobber, Esky seven foot. I have 20 pound leader and then I added a uh, 40 pound stretch close to the hook for a uh, uh, bite leader basically. So. Let's see what happens. Uh, something. I think it's a school of jack. Oh, those are permit. Yeah, those are permit. 
Oh, take it, take it. Freaking school of permit. Oh. Yeah, they were surrounding my uh, bobber. I almost went for the fly instead of this. That's what I should have done. Dang it. I thought they were jacks. All right, there's a tarpon right there. Uh, he was coming, and I think I might have spooked him. Hopefully it spooked him towards the, uh, the bobber there. Oh, no, he's right down there. See him all the way on the bottom. All right, bobber's gone. Oh. oh, came back up. So that means probably toothy critter. Yeah, I don't feel any weight. All right, I'm tired of losing hooks. I think I'm gonna make a run back the tide is reversed, so we'll give that a quick shot. Then I'd like to make it back here in time for a little bit of a bonefish permit action as the water lowers a bit. All right, we're gonna try out our knocker rig setup. I'm gonna go pinfish through the anal port. Then I'm gonna start chopping, oh. start chopping some fins. So it'll flutter and not swim away everywhere. So let's see what this does. Stuck on my anchor, great. And I lost the bait. Freaking great. Okay, so it can't really swim around a lot. Try to. Ooh. Just get it in that area there. I'm not stuck in the mangroves, am I? Yes. God dang it. Well, that's my last bait. That was a fail. Golly. Just a freaking nightmare. There's one in there. There it goes, there it goes. Got him, get out of there. Get out of it, get ready to jump. Oh, dang it. Oh, I knew it was. Dang it, dang it, fang it. It's uh, tracks coming towards us. I motored up in front of them. See what they are. after it oh no it's so close I don't know what those were but it stopped for it dang it oh. swirled on it man look how calm it is but unfortunately it's two and a half foot deep. So I can't see anything and then the glare so I can't see into the fish, see the fish. 
It's too deep for a regular size fish to tail. Ugh, what a waste. I just couldn't uh, handle the uh, tarpon over there anymore because the noceums and the mosquitoes, so I had to get out of there. But, bummers, nothing. Can't see anything. Gotta wait till next low tide. Alrighty, another Key West sunset. Beautiful evening today. Uh, just that high tide pretty much kills my uh, flats opportunities. But the tarpon side of it was excellent. Um, just more reinforcements that the uh, little 1 8 ounce 3 yacht jig heads with the 2 and 5 8 uh, inch uh, paddle tails. Boom, primo, works excellent. Flips really nicely, doesn't make a big splash. And those uh, juvenile tarpon seem to love them. I got to do a redo on the uh, pinfish because I just screwed that up. And also I need to put on a bigger fly than that little clouser. Uh, just something with a little little bit bigger. Um, still keep that uh, uh, pilchard profile, but just, just a little bit larger. And I think I'll work as well. But uh, anyways, let's call it a day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.